We're getting an opportunity uh, to talk with some of the best coaches across the state and their QB1 as part of this series. QB1 presented by our friends at Go Route. And here to talk with us, the head coach of those Lido Bearcats, uh, Coach Tim Buchanan, and his QB1, uh, Braden Fowler and Nicolosi. Guys, how are you? Good. Doing great. Good. I appreciate you guys taking a little bit of time. Uh, coach, uh, you've uh, had an opportunity to coach a number of really outstanding quarterbacks. Seems like you got another one sitting uh, to your right right now. Uh, what is it about Braden that sets him apart that makes him special? Well, most people would think it's his arm, which is really, really good. But his football IQ is as good as any quarterback I've been around in 39 years I've been coaching. That's uh, that's certainly saying something because I know you've you've had some some great ones and 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 Braden, um, you know, you're in your second year starting here for for Alito. Um, I can watch the film and I can see how how much better and how much you've grown. How do you feel like you've grown as as a quarterback? I've I've grown on the mental side the most. I think being inside this um, program that Coach Buck has built has shaped me as a quarterback mentally more than anything, preparing me for the next level. It's it's been awfully impressive to to watch you and and, and coach. You know, one thing I, I want to mention is. You know, this is brought to our by our friends at Go Route. I know you guys use the Go Route system there uh, at Alito. Can you tell us a little bit about how it, it helps you guys practice more efficiently and effectively? Well, the biggest thing is the number of reps we get, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Our our scout offense is, you know, used to you had to huddle, and you know, you had typically lesser athletes, and you know, your JV kids over there running scout team for you, and they had to go to the huddle, they had to look at a play card. Then they had to figure out where they were going to line up, number one, based off of that play card. Then they had to try to remember what play they were going to run once they got to the line of scrimmage. Now a coach is sitting there with their phone or their iPad, and they click on a play. Those kids look down. They see where they're lined up. They see what route they're going to run, and they run it immediately. So we have predicted that we run anywhere from, from three to four more plays Per, per, per series, per, uh, you know, per day. You know, for example, if we, if we normally were going to get 60 plays in a day, we're going to get 100 to 120 plays in a day. Uh, so it, 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 it's unbelievable what it's done for us. Uh, Braden, you're a Nevada commit. Uh, you've been committed since uh, back in June uh, to, to the Wolfpack. I'm interested, you know, I'm interested why Nevada was the right move for you and, and, and what, uh, what excites you about playing for the Wolfpack. It's an awesome place. I loved it. I got a chance to go up there and meet all the coaches and the guys, and it just felt like a home. So getting to get in there with the coaches and see what they're all about, and I noticed it was pretty similar to here at Alito. It's all about how much work you put in in the off season and becoming a family. So that's what excites me about it. Coach, you guys are are one of the most uh, prolific and successful high school programs in in America. Uh, and I know that that takes a lot of hard work. Uh, and I, I know you get asked this question a lot, so I'll just I'll just join the course people. What is it about Alito that keeps you guys this successful year in and year out? Well, it's kind of what Braden just said. It's a, it's a program, and these kids, uh, you know, every year it's a new group of seniors. Uh, so they understand that, that they got to where they're at by by working hard, and they continue that process. And they all want to overachieve, and they all want to be better than what their God given ability is. And uh, you know, Braden's a, a, a really good example of the type of kids we have. You know, Braden, Braden has an unbelievable arm. I mean, he the ball gets out of his hand like none other I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, and, and he's extremely accurate with that arm. But the hard work and the dedication that he's put into it, on, on his own and with our coaches is is an example of what our kids do. And that, that's what that that's what's made our, our kids and, and their parents pushing them to do that. Uh, and and Braden, you know, last question for you. you obviously you you've grown as, as a quarterback. You're 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 reaching new heights, but but I know that that especially with you know a guy like Coach Buck pushing you, you're gonna you, there's higher uh, you know, higher things you want to achieve. And so from your perspective, what do you want to improve on? What's that next step that you want to take uh, to become from an already great quarterback to, to a truly elite one? 
just just staying in the film room and staying in the weight room in the off season, just getting bigger and stronger before I get up there and obviously just getting mentally smarter and smarter. Uh, he's Tim Buchanan. He's the head coach of the Alito Bearcats and his QB one, Braden Fowler Nicolosi. Guys, appreciate your time. Congratulations on a successful, on a great year so far and uh, looking forward to seeing what you guys do. Thanks, Tab. Thank you.